after lots of research, um, going back and forth, emails with companies, uh, lots of YouTube vids, videos with uh, Red Beer and the Z Packs and all the pack options out there, and then research on White Blaze again and again. Uh, I got to a point where I thought, well, I'll go with my uh, ULA circuit. And then by the time I started weighing stuff out and waiting and waiting, everybody says it should be one of the last items you buy. And uh, it's down there, now close to being one of my last items, my last few items I've got left to purchase for backpacking purposes. Um, I'm ready to load it up and go. Uh, and after the last trip with my external frame, um, where it was seven pound frame to carry you know, 15 pounds worth of uh, base weight. Uh, I just decided I was going to pull the trigger and finally get a pack and uh, decided on the ULA 2.0 ohm, especially after Shug and t shirts and all of his work. Um, so I went ahead and placed the order and uh, was expecting it uh, to arrive on a Friday and lo and behold everything worked like a charm. It shipped out the night, the label was created and shipped out almost the night of the evening I ordered it. Arrived a day earlier and so here it is. The actual package ready to be opened right from the start and so I thought I'd do typical opening video for my own record. Um, it's like Christmas in May, um, rather than rather than any other time, and so I couldn't wait. I immediately set up the camera and decided to tear into it, open it up, and show you the ULA two uh, ohm two point Here it is with the box opened up. And the packing slip is, of course, first. General use and packing instructions. How to put on and adjust your circuit ohm or epic. Loose all straps, typical. Uh, I'm not going to really spend a lot of time load lifters. I'm not going to spend a lot of time because I am experienced with an external frame. A lot bigger pack and a lot heavier pack than this. But here's the ohm, ULA ohm. I can feel the stays along the side. There's one set of stays. There's the other set of stays. And I can feel the frame right through here, all along the sides. The uh, water bottle holders here. The hand straps. Uh, I may leave those on for a while. I thought I'd instantly take those off because I do use trekking poles, but I, I, I sort of like the idea. You know, I used to loop my thumbs in here on the external frame, and in here I'd sometimes rest my hands. Um, that's not bad. Um, you know, I, I may not lose that on each side. I may give that a chance and then see how much I use them. I probably will end up removing them because with the trekking poles, and I love my trekking poles, my leaky, lucky trekking poles, with those, um, I'm probably going to, um, I'm probably going to end up um, not, not needing hand wraps, but that's not a bad little extra item that's there just in case. Um, again, opening it up, I expect to find the, the inside wallet. Oh, and it's a different color. I didn't expect that. I expected it to be all black or a mesh. It's a cell nylon, very light material that straps in there. Um, again, I will probably end up dropping um, probably my first aid kit in there um, at some other time. Uh, looking down in there, Oh, here's the back side. And there's the 
water bladder uh, and that definitely will come out I'm not a bladder person um, I definitely will drop the weight um, but I may find some other use for that uh, probably I don't know if a hammock will stuff in that I don't know if tent stakes will stuff in that um, but if I can't use it if I can't use it for the H2O water bladder purpose um, it will be coming out of there because I want to try and get as lightweight as I can. So we'll have to wait and see on those two items. Um, they're easy to remove um, and cut out or remove. Um, and so we'll have to wait and see on those. I do, I do love this mesh. This mesh pack um, is strong. It's um, it's good quality because I, I do store a lot of stuff out in the mesh pocket versus inside. Um, of course, everybody raves about the side pockets for water bottles. That's where I'll carry my water. If I carry my water up front in the water actual water holders, um, then the side pocket will become one for um, for my stove unit. So there's a lot of versatility, a lot of dissensions to be made. Um, but for a first look of the pack, I'm quite pleased. Okay, what I'm going to do now is set this up. And then we'll put on the pack for the first time. Oops, I need to, I guess, pull it tight. It'll be empty. About the only time I'll put on a pack empty and tighten the back strap again. Again, a wonderful strap here. And let off the waist belt. Chest strap. And fire it on. It's got the regular J strap, so I didn't go with the with anything else. Um, it did go with the large waist, which may be a mistake. I may have gone need to go to the medium. Uh, we're gonna have to wait and see. I may switch that out immediately for a medium. But the pockets are on the hips where I like them, and these are nice pockets. As you can see, you get a whole hand in there. I saw a young kid's video where he he demonstrated the, the side pockets for cameras and everything else. Um, I'm going to actually have to get in backpacking pants and decide if this is what I want. I do like the ability to... A lot of packs, you don't have load lifters. You don't have all the various adjustments to get it close to the body. Uh, a lot of packs don't give you this upper upper adjustment, and uh, I'm used to a large external frame, so and that's why I may like the hand adjusters because I used to use these to hold my hands, and I may go to that, or I may clip these on somehow, attach these to this because this is a nice, comfortable way of hiking. But I'm thinking that, that maybe we'll have to wait and see when it's under load. But maybe, uh, yeah, I'm going to be cutting a lot of strap, it looks like, and re sewing strap. Um, but it definitely is the right torso. It's the right torso. It's a, it's a medium torso, 21 inch torso with a large belt because I've got a gut but I may have been able to slide by with the medium um, I don't know we're gonna have to wait and see how that works out although I really like the way it's right right now that's a good solid fit so we'll have to wait and see whether it's medium or large um, I went by their specifications they said waist side plus plus two inches and go up a size on the hips and down a size on the torso if it's if it's in between and that's exactly what I did 
and I think the fit is good. The fit, fit is great. Again, no load in here because I just got it. But I've read so much and seen so many videos that I thought I'd throw mine in the midst, midst of it and let you see straight out of the box how everything goes. And honestly, I am quite pleased. Um, minor modifications. I'm going to cut down strap size um, and maybe contact them about difference between changing out the medium for the large because they are interchangeable. You aren't locked into the belt, so the belt system. But I really think that I'm probably going to need to stay with the with the larger belt size for a while and uh, and then maybe purchase a, the medium at a later date when I change size and keep both. Um, but definitely pleased. Great purchase. Now it's just a matter of get out on the trail and actually use it.